Are you ready for some cocktails with fancy girl drinks? If so, stay tuned. party ideals, family gatherings, and other fancy lifestyle, entertaining, and whatever else we think what we want to talk about at the time. <laughs> so if that's something that you think that you would like, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That way it helps our channel to grow and we can continue to upload videos weekly. Typically on Sundays is when we do it. So hit the bell notification so you will never miss an upload. And again, it typically happens on Sunday. So today we are celebrating Father's Day. And we're, doing, we're gonna mix it up a little bit today. Instead of the normal cocktails that um, she makes for us, we are going to, in honor of Father's Day, we are gonna have our own little beer fest. Yes, we love beer fest. So we're gonna do a little beer fest. We're gonna have some uh, ales and IPAs and ciders, ciders, and a little up. bit yeah. of variety of everything. Because uh, yeah. typically that's what uh, dads like to drink. So, all right, you ready? What are we gonna start with? So, okay, we're gonna start with an ale. Okay. Oh, I know about ale. So, um, an ale over here. Ale. So I know a little bit about an ale. So. And ale, uh, ale uh, started uh, to become popular probably about 10 years or so ago. Um, and ale typically has a somewhat bitter taste and high alcohol content. So if that is what pretty much um, distinguishes an ale from you know, another type of beer. So you have a light ale. So we're getting ready to sample a light ale now. Okay, so it has a light color. Nice light color. Nice, uh, would, that, would, you, would you call that amber? Would this be considered amber in no, color? A little lighter than amber. A little lighter than amber? Okay. Yeah, so, so you're saying that an IP, no it's an IP. This is an ale. So it's higher alcohol content. Higher alcohol content and somewhat bitter taste, typically. Okay. So, so you ready to try it? All right, let's see. Okay. Okay. There was a little sweetness to this. It started off a little sweet and it kind of ended a little bitter back a here. dry, yeah. So I understand what they mean about the, the bitter taste. But it's not bad. I like I, it. I don't typically drink ale, but this is not so bad. Yeah, pretty good. Good selection. Okay, mm, like we said, okay. we're doing our own little beer fest. So okay. If any of you ever been to a beer fest, they just, you take a sip, dump it. We're going to rinse the glasses out. Got a little water and a little bucket over here. Oh, that's too much water. We're going to rinse it out, dump it, and then we're going to... And go on to the next. Taste the next one. Okay. So what we got next here? Okay. So we're going to talk about an IPA. IPA okay. is an India Pale Ale. India Pale Ale? Uh-huh. Okay. And it was created um, for the British soldiers because... Um, they wanted something that did not spoil, so that when not soldiers, sailors, when they came back from sea, they would have something they could drink. So it's an India Pale Ale. So let's see. Pale Ale. What you got? What you got? Okay, we got a Pale Ale. And pale Ales became, or IPAs became popular probably about 10 years ago as well. We're going to sample this. It seems to be a little bit darker. It's somewhat darker, just a tiny bit darker. Just a little bit darker than the uh Oh girl, you better, give, you better give me a little more than that. I need just a little more to taste. I can't right. even hardly wet my whistle with that. Alright, let's see. So we have our okay. is that enough for yeah, you? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. India Pale Ale. Okay. Alright. Better sure so I can tell by that Thank red lipstick that's oh. on it. <laughs> You ready? Try? Yeah, let's try. Ooh, yeah. now this is kind of, I don't know. 
it's to me this one this is definitely a little sweeter it tastes a little i don't know if, i don't know if this is what the right terminology is but it kind of tastes a little thicker or a little it's, it's heavier more heavy it's, it's heavy, heavy. It has more heavy like hops a, he a heavy hops. a heavier yeah. taste because the first one when you first tasted it was like kind of sweet kind of sweet right, right kind of like um kind of disappeared from your mouth quickly but this one is kind of heavier and it kind of hangs around longer yeah but, it's um more hops yeah for lack of a better term a thick a thicker taste i don't know a thicker taste comes so to you mind. like the ale better oh man i don't know they kind of i think i could drink the ale more than i could drink this one this has a heavier taste to me i think you have to be a real beer lover a real ale lover to be able to drink a lot of that the other one was lighter, a little lighter, more light hearted. I could drink more of that. I mean, it's not bad, but it's, it's uh, yeah. Between the IPA and the <laughs> L, I would choose an L. Oh, we lost our video feed there. Oh. Oh, well. We can't still out there in YouTube land? We can't get it back. Let's it <laughs> Nope. Okay. We still out there in YouTube That's land? All right, we good. So, so we're going to rinse that out. We're going to move on to the next one. Which and is, um, um, what is next? Oh, I don't know. Let's start with. Oh, let's do a let's do a, a cider. Let's cider. do a cider. So, um, hard cider. I don't need, I don't know really when it started, but um, hard ciders. You know, maybe like the last few years. Every time you turn the TV on, it says commercial cider, hard, hard cider this, hard cider that. Everybody was making a cider. Typically, an, excuse me. Typically, an apple cider. So, uh, half. Uh, hard apple cider became very popular and I've had them and I think um, if you like apple juice not that it tastes like apple juice but uh, you know it has it's reminiscent of that uh, with a little bit of a uh, carbonation to it and of course alcohol and so um, the apple hard ciders became really popular but I think what we're trying today and then they just took off and now there's yeah, hard cherry, there's cherry peaches, different peaches, varieties. All, all it depends on what you like. Right. So if you're not necessarily a beer fan or yeah. ale, yeah. you know, if it's too hoppy for you, try some of the uh, hard ciders. And I, I found that um, uh, females kind of lean more towards, so if your old man is drinking, you know, IPAs mm -hmm. and ales and, and different type of beers that, um, you know, the females kind of lean more towards the ciders because they're, they're, you know, a little sweeter. Well, they are much sweeter, actually, and um, a little lighter in taste and definitely sweeter. So we're going to try, instead of trying an apple cider, we're going to try a hard uh, berry cider. So that's what we're going to have. And so we're going to add a oh, few. Right oh, wrong glass. Okay, so let's, we've got, um. Switch up glasses a little bit instead of the mugs. We're gonna switch up to a glass for the ale. Okay. Not ale. <laughs> what the heck is this? Cider. Cider. Hard cider. cider. I'm getting my I'm getting my drinks mixed up. This is a, a hard cider. I'm gonna a add a few berries. Berry you know, cider, so we can make it cute. Yeah. So, uh, enhance the berry flavor a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got one berry. One. It's always one stubborn one. one they don't want to cooperate. Yeah. Get out of there. One stuff. Well, oh, okay. There oh, you go. She got it. it. Smack it a little bit. Smack it upside his head a little bit. Okay, oh. so we're going with this is a oh, this is a triple berry. berry. So it's a triple berry. It has three different berries in it. Oh, um, I'm looking forward I'm looking to forward this one too because yeah. I still have a little bit of the uh, the uh, bitterness and all that hops. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of the bitterness in the back of my IPA. tongue. Yeah. yeah, so I'm, it's not I'm, for everybody, but you know, some beer drinkers like that extra. Yeah, that you, that extra thickness that you're talking yeah. about the hop, I think, hoppiness, I think especially in Europeans, they really. Um, a lot of Americans, you know, it just depends, you know. Hmm. But I, know, I think it's really popular <clears throat> in Germany. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that looks refreshing. So I keep staring down at it. I'm ready. <laughs> we have a triple berry. A triple berry hard cider. Hard cider. So, so we right. we've done a, a L. Did an L. And the L was more alcohol content and a little bitter. A little bitter. We did a IPA. IPA. The IPA seemed more bitter to me than the L. Matter of yeah, personal preference. Yeah, matter of opinion. 
Yeah. And, and, and that really one hop, little, hoppier, a little thicker. Yeah, right, right. And so now we're trying a hard cider. Hard cider. And, and instead of an apple hard cider, cider, I'm doing a berry hard cider. We haven't done our, our traditional toast. I know, toast, toast. toast. Cheers. Happy Father's Day, right? Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's this is to all the fathers. So this, this reminds me like the old school uh, wine cooler. <laughs> but not as sweet. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to know what this tastes like, if you've never tried a cider before, a hard cider before, think about a little less sweet uh, wine cooler from back in the day. Seagram's wine coolers and all that. That's what it kind of reminds me of. <laughs> so the alcohol content is like probably a little bit lower. The alcohol content... I think it's probably about the same. I think the alcohol content would be the same. Same as a regular beer? No, 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 no. The alcohol content is lower than a beer. Okay. But I was talking about the uh, oh, the, the, uh, the old IPA. school. Uh, yeah. Oh, the old school. Uh, okay, I got you. Wine cooler. Wine cooler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like it though. I like it's it too because I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you about this. So if you you know, in the summertime, everybody drinking beer, or you go to ball games and they're drinking beer, and you're not really a beer drinker, but it's like, you feel like, oh, everybody's drinking beer, and it's the, it's the drink of the summer, and, you know, hot dog and beers go together and all that, but you don't like beer, this would be a good alternative. I like this, because I'm yeah, not really a beer drinker. Yeah, I'll take a few little, sips if somebody has some beer, or sweeter, I go to beer fest and stuff. A little but... lighter, a little sweeter. Yeah, yeah so like this, this would be a great option or uh, alternative. If you do not care for beer, try a hard cider. Now the IPA and the L, I pour, I pour it out and the bucket on the side. But I think I'm yeah, gonna keep this. I think I'm gonna keep this. this a keeper. <laughs> I might have to ask for a uh, um, a little refill on that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring back our mugs. That looks okay. like my lipstick there because I have on orange and you have oh, on red. Red. Okay, kiss them. She yeah. has on kissable red yeah. and I have on my summer orange. All right, so that? now our last one is our stout. All right, a stout. Oh, so you're yeah. a stout girl, aren't you? I kind of like stout yeah. because you know what? It has a deeper taste. It's a darker color. Uh, more kind of like have some coffee essence to it. So I like a, a nice stout. Normally a stout is from Ireland. Okay. I don't think you really care for stouts, right? I don't really care for stouts. <laughs> yeah. I know, I think uh, stouts are popular in cooking. I think they use stouts for like different, like um, cheese dips, maybe. And what else do they use stouts for? Uh, uh -huh. For barbecue. I know some people put it in their barbecue sauce, I've heard. Put a little bit more in there. So, yeah, you, you drink some more. You cheating me. She cheating me. She trying to cheat me, folks. I'm just not a big beer drinker, so I'll keep up. But that looks pretty. It looks like root beer. Yeah, it's a dark color, much darker, richer. Got a little nice, yeah, richer. Got a little nice head on it. This, this Ooh, uh, it smells divine. Does this smell good? It, it's reminiscent of chocolate, or kind of a cocoa. I don't know, kind of chocolate smell. So, what would you pair with this as far as food wine? Ooh, that's a good question. What should I pair? Something, Go ahead. Maybe something. I don't know. Not. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Ooh, Maybe I'm chili. thinking something sweet. Oh, you go sweet. See, I would go spicy. I would go sweet. I would go sweet with this. Like, we always like, opposite. She would go <laughs> sweet, and I would go spicy. I would do like some spicy chili, or some nachos. Oh, see, I would go with some barbecue, with some honey barbecue wings. Mm. I think honey barbecue wings would go good with this. So this style is good. It's you know, it's it's a little dry, but it's not bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The verdict is still out. I Ooh, like it. That's, I'm that's... used to drinking it, though. Like I said, I'm not a big yeah. beer drinker, but I will drink some stout. So you done with that? Yeah, I'm done with that. It's not this. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's not my cup of tea. It's all right. But Hey, I, I like it. it. I'm going to drink it. <laughs> she don't want it. I'll take it. Ooh. And I'm going to drink the rest of that berry um, drink this cider. I'm drinking you it. Can't you can't have all. She can't have it all. She's trying to take it all. It's Father's Day. We, you know, we got to get in the mood for our fathers. And yeah. then we talk about fathers. Yeah. You know, we're celebrating. It is um, June nineteenth, coming up quickly. Coming up quickly, approaching. So, ladies, uh, are you you uh, mothers, daughters, sisters? 
Don't forget Father's Day is quickly approaching. Go out and, and do something nice for the fathers. Do something nice for the fathers. Yeah. Show your appreciation. Show your appreciation. Now, do you think they that, deserve it? They deserve it. Just deserve like we, it. we go all out for mothers and yeah. well, well deserving. Yeah. But same thing for the fathers. Yeah. And so I read something the other day. Do you think it's true or false that a lot of fathers they think that Father's Day is just a gimmick? It's just a way for you know. The industry to make oh money. like one of those things they call a Hallmark holiday type Hallmark thing. Holiday. They don't really Hallmark. support it, and they're saying that it's a gimmick because you're spending their money to get them a gift. So do you think that's how fathers really feel, or do you think they really appreciate? I've heard that. I've heard comedians talk about that. They'll say like, "I don't need you to take my money out of the bank to go buy me a gift. Don't even buy me a gift. Just keep my money in the bank." So yeah. I think that's a kind of a a, a, a joke. Um, so anyway, I don't know. So fathers, how do you feel? Do you yeah. appreciate? Comment down below if you us recognizing you think it's a real holiday, or you think it's a Hallmark holiday, or you don't think you don't get your due. Comment down below and let us know how you fathers feel out there. Any fathers that's watching, or mothers, and you know, let us know. Just give us your opinion on how do you feel about Father's Day. If you think that the fathers are recognized and should be recognized. Or do you think it's just one of those hallmark holidays that, that the industry is just trying to get some money in? So, uh, I personally, I think that, you know, the fathers, there's some fathers out there that are doing double duty. They're the father and the mother. Yeah. So I think fathers don't get their recognition, and I think this is a, a wonderful way to do it. Yes. So, uh, my hat's off to all the fathers, and uh, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Then they talked about the three primary roles of a father, the protector, provider and disciplinarian and when i think about our late father now he was a protect he was definitely a provider he's a provider he was a he's protector. a provider protector hustler all that no he, disciplinary. no disciplinary <laughs> he, he, he let he let our mother do all the discipline <laughs> yeah they yeah. would talk we could hear them conspiring yeah. but when it came to like laying down the disciplinary uh yeah. tactics yeah. That was her. She would beat you with whatever she could find, yeah. or disciplinary whatever she could find. Uh, no. Put you on punishment. <laughs> what do you call it? They didn't call it time they, out. They, no, they call it call, out. no, a beat down. That's what they call it. It wasn't no time out. Go in the corner, take away uh, your keys, or take away your phone. It, wasn't like that. it was a beat down. That was the time out. Yeah, you get choked out in the yeah. store. Yeah. First of all, you get the rules before you get to the store. Yeah. Don't touch nothing. Don't, don't ask for nothing. You don't, don't buy nothing. nothing. You got everything. You ain't hungry. Don't <laughs> ask me for nothing. Don't look at nothing. And if anybody <laughs> offer you something, say, you say no. no thank you. <laughs> right. No so, yeah. thank you. So, so with our, in our household, our father was, he was not the disciplinarian. It was definitely our mom, but he was a great provider. God rest his soul. Rest in yes, peace. Rest in peace. Um, but um, yeah. So recognize the fathers. Don't forget. Was it June 19th? June 19th, yep. Yeah. And okay. it was Father's, the first Father's Day actually was uh, celebrated June 19th, 1910 in the state of Washington. And then in 1972, Nixon made it a federal, a federal holiday. holiday. But you know what it seems like? We've been celebrating. A national holiday? Federal holiday? Federal holiday. No, federal holiday. And he made it it's a federal holiday. holiday, but it's on Sunday, so I don't know. If you can. Yeah. Does that count? <laughs> yeah. It's a federal holiday, but I can't get a day off. Right, so. That don't seem right. I don't okay. know. So. And so, you know what, we I was talking about fathers and uh, famous fathers and sons. And so, ooh, I thought about, as far as in the entertainment business, I, talk, okay. I thought about Ziggly, Ziggy and Bob Marley. Ziggy and Bob Marley, okay. Bob Denzel, famous. famous. Denzel yeah. Washington and John David Washington. Now, when I look at John David Washington, He's a good actor, but to me, he looks more like his mom. He looks, I think he looks, but you know what though? He has his father's whole voice. Mm. If you listen to him when he's acting, if you close your eyes and listen to him, I think it's Denzel talking. Mm. So he looked like his mom, but he sounds just like his dad. Check it out. Just do this little test. Next time you watch one of uh, Denzel, what's it, D D David? John David Washington. Da John David Washington. Next time you watch one of his movies, while, while the movie's on, close your eyes and just listen to the voice. It sounds just like Denzel. I'm telling you. Try then, it out. And we have Damon 
Junior and Senior. It's oh. so many of them. Jay, 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 Wayans. Wayans. Damon Junior and Senior Wayans. Wayans. And it's yeah. so many of them Wayans that are yeah. famous father and son combinations. So many yeah. of them I can't even begin so, to uh, I know. name them. They have a whole whole list of Wayans. 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 Um, what I can't Wayans. Wayans. Who else you got? Uh, I have uh, Allen and Robin Thick. Allen and Robin Thick. Okay. I don't really remember Allen so much. What's he he was um a host. I think like I think it was America's home video or something like that. I rem oh no, he was on a sitcom for years. I didn't I don't re really I can't remember the name of it, but I know he was in a sit he started off in a sitcom uh like in the late eighties, early nineties, or maybe all the nineties, he was in a sitcom. So if you remember the sitcom that Alan Thick was in, comment down below. I know he was in a sitcom, but I can't remember the name of the sitcom. And then, of course, we all know his, his son, Robin. Right. But have you seen Robin lately? Robin looked no. just like his daddy. I haven't seen him. Yeah, he looked just like his daddy. He's kind of Asian. Is that good or bad? It's not bad, but he went from looking like he looked. He started. He, he went from looking like the son to now a daddy. So I, I don't necessarily <laughs> know it's bad, but it's just. He, uh, you knew they were related, but now he looked like his whole daddy. Oh, so anyway. And so then my well, the ne next famous uh, inter in the entertainment uh, industry, I have Will and Jaden Smith, and we oh, know Jayden that Smith. Will has been in the news here. <coughs> the slap that's been. Uh oh, something's going on. Are the camera person all right? <laughs> uh, okay. Our camera crew. Okay, okay. so camera we're okay. Crew. So Will and Jaden Smith, okay. we're okay with that. Okay. Uh, the the slap we heard around America, or around the world. Okay, so those are the famous entertainment. I think you have some famous sports fathers and sons. So I, my favorite, um, one of my favorites is the Mannings. So we have Archie Manning, Peyton Manning, and there's Mama calling Little Peyton. <laughs> Little Peyton. So so our mother called. Eli Lil Peyton. He just, she, she never calls him by his name. She calls him Lil Peyton. So that's Archie um, Peyton and then uh, Eli. So we know it's a, the uh, uh, NFL fame. So we know the Mannings. Um, then we have, oh, it's, it's so many in sports. Yeah, it really is. It's so many. I mean, you can go on and on and on. We have the Currys. We have Dale Curry, Steph Curry, and Seth Curry. Uh, Dale played in the NBA for probably 16 years. Uh, most of the time, I think is I think most of the time he played with, I don't remember what team, mostly. But anyway, so um, then we have the Currys. Then we have, who we got the Bonds. We got Bobby Bonds and Barry Bonds. Um, so, you know, we got the Bonds. I'm still we have, drinking um, this. Uh, <laughs> we, you know, let's catch up. We, have, you know, we have the Paytons. We got Gary Payton and Gary, Gary Payton Sr. and Gary Payton Jr. I oh. take a little break. Uh, 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 <laughs> I went your whistle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me have a little you more of that, that, that berry. Okay, you hit the berry. So, um, who else do we have? The oh, berry. we have the uh, Nortons. We have Ken Norton Sr. and Ken Norton Jr. Baseball, right? No, Ken Norton, uh, famous boxer. Oh, Ken Norton. Ken Where Norton. Where baseball from? Ken, uh, Ken Norton Sr. broke uh, um, Ali's jaw back in the 70s in one of the fights that they had. So when his son? When his son in baseball? No, his son is a football player. Oh, I'm his all son, up. yeah, his son. This, this his son, IPA ale <laughs> stout. His son, uh, Ken Norton Jr., played uh, in the NFL for at least ten seasons, at least that. Uh, and he has three Super Bowl rings. He has two with Dallas, and in one with San Francisco, I believe. So, uh, so yeah, so boxing, and then over to NFL. So, so we have. So we got. The Nortons, we got the Mannings, we got the Bonds. Uh, oh, and got the Currys. So, so I mean, I really could go on and on and on and on. Yes, she so. could. So we're gonna wrap it up. We want to say Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all our so fathers. So we're gonna toast. We're I gonna mean, toast. Her. I, this, this poor, she just she drinking she drinking stout and cider at the same time. I'm showing you, oh, you know, okay. the variety. Oh, okay. Bob, you know, we didn't talk about the old school beer. Yeah, you know, uh, Corona, stick that lime, put that lime down in there. Right. So All right, let me see. Let's do that. Let's put a little lime. Put, put the lime in the coconut. And then back, back in the day, we used to drink like, they had like on the holidays, the strolls and the ice house. And, uh -huh. Hey, remember, I don't know, uh, 
when light beer first came out, probably anywhere from 40 plus years ago, and, and we thought it was kind of like a phenomenon, light beer, light beer, and look, today how light beer is taking off, there's like this, I mean, if you got ice light, uh, this light, that light, ultra light, uh, low carb light, it's just so many, and, and here we are 40 some years later, and uh, light beer is still going through the roof. <laughs> Actually, it might be one of the you know top sellers, light beer. So, I never understood the point of light beer. It's almost like drinking water. No, I guess. no, no. Well, see, these days, in the, like the last probably five or so years, what they did was oh, so it's light, you know, light as far as on the body, but the alcohol content has risen. So oh, it might God. so that way you might be able to drink you know five or six. Because it's light, but it has a higher alcohol content. So, so, getting, so, so, for what I understand. So, anyway. I'm getting back to my style. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Oh. Fancy Girl Drinks, we love you. Thank you for tuning in with us today and celebrate your father. Send them the love. See you next time. <laughs>